Alright, so this tutorial is going to be about some of the other various tools that are in MAST. I'm going to have a dedicated tutorial for the Prefab Creator as well as the Assembly Creator. Um, so what you're seeing here is just a um, construction I put together just to actually show the Merge Meshes tool. So I am going to start from the bottom here. So what I'll do is I'll select the parent, which is the holder. You see everything is selected. I hit Merge Meshes. I'm going to go ahead and in the inspector hide that. And you'll see it's still showing because it actually created another object which shows everything merged. It's actually one big mesh. It actually still has the separate materials. It actually made them all sub meshes to actually apply multiple materials, but it's one mesh now. In the future, I'll actually have this where it's safe. Um, right now, what you'd end up having to do is save the mesh somewhere within your project. Um, I will eventually make this so it'll automatically save the mesh for you. I'm also going to be adding several other finalization tools, like I'm going to call them, I suppose. Uh, one that will actually weld vertices. Um, possibly one that will remove, uh, remove faces where they're facing each other. Uh, things that obviously would never be shown outside. It's not going to be true solid object modeling where it actually would take one thing uh, that's in halfway in the middle of another and actually create new vertices based off of that. It's not going to do that, but it'll do the obvious efficiency improvements that it can make. One other thing I'm going to be adding in the future is the ability to change from sharp to smooth based on the material. So let's say you create a racetrack of modular pieces, which I will have a pack for eventually. You'll be able to select the dirt material make it smooth, um, weld the vertices, make it smooth, and you'll actually have a smooth pathway the entire way. On my current pack, I actually have a waterfall, water, river, different hills and everything it would go over, and um, that's going to be added to that. So I look forward to actually testing that soon as well. All right, so back to the tool itself. So that was the actual merge meshes tool. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete all this stuff as well. I don't need it. So, on the prefabs themselves, so whenever you actually generate prefabs, um, they will not come with the actual mass script. If you want to add those, you would click this. You would actually select the folder that contains all your prefabs. So, in this case, da -da -da, I already had the folder selected. So, I'll select that folder. Now, if it already has it, it won't duplicate the script on it. But that actually gives you a special script that you could use to customize the details of how that prefab works in mass specifically. Um, the remove mass components, would act, you would actually select the parent of whatever has all your, your um, prefabs. You would remove that, and it would remove the script off of all those prefabs. Obviously, if you merge the meshes, it's done as well. Although merge meshes does ignore specific game objects that you tell it to. On the, I'm going to get into more detail on this, on this later, but the merge meshes does not merge anything that you specifically exclude from the merge. Even if it's inside the same holder, it would actually put them into a kind of a, you know what, let me demonstrate. So, so a crate is something that I wouldn't want to merge with everything else. So I'll select that, still under the same mass holder, go back to tools, merge meshes, this is how I should have demonstrated it. So I'm going to delete that, but I want to show the merged. And you'll see it actually created a separate, not merged game object where it actually kept them separate still. Um, this way, if you had a door, for example, or anything that needs to be able to be moved, you don't have to worry about taking them out of the actual merge. You can specify that on the prefab itself. I think that's really handy. So for the most part, I think that covers all the odds and ends in the tools. I'm going to have a separate one specifically for the prefab creator and another one for the create assembly. All right, talk to y'all later.